on today's menu. An easy recipe to put together that's a bouquet of flavors. Delicious cauliflower, rice. Lei Ho Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I absolutely love fried rice and it's by far one of my favorite dishes of all time. But if you don't have any rice on hand, that's totally okay. All you need is some amazing cauliflower. Prep one head of cauliflower by slicing into the stem and pulling out the florets. Chop the cauliflower down into bite-sized pieces. I find when you're prepping cauliflower or broccoli, it's always best to kind of cut into the stalk and pull it apart rather than chopping the entire thing. This will give you a much cleaner cutting board blender. Add some cauliflower to the blender. You'll need to rice the cauliflower a little bit at a time. Blend the cauliflower on the lowest setting for about 10 seconds. Pour out the rice cauliflower and repeat with the remaining florets. Takes a little bit of patience, and of course you can buy frozen rice cauliflower, but I find making it from scratch really gives it that incredible texture and keeps that al dente bite when you go and cook it. Chop one small carrot into cubes. Chop about 60 grams of broccolini. Half a red onion, finely chopped. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. About 30 grams of shiminchi mushrooms, chopped. That's pretty much it. We just have to make a simple sauce and we're good to go. Super, super easy. And if you love easy recipes like I do, of course, definitely check out that vegan ramen cookbook or the cook with confidence cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, get your signed copy, or take a sneak peek inside the books. Make the sauce by adding one tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon dark soy sauce, a splash of toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon hoisin sauce, and stir. You also need some delicious, aromatic, fresh basil. One of my favorite ingredients. And of course, this is not traditional in fried rice, but it's going to go 
incredibly well with the delicious smoky chili oil I made in the previous episode. You can make this really easily at home. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out. Make this for yourself and see how amazing this is. Two tablespoons, hemp hearts. Right, so this is not something I usually use on the show here, but it is something that I really do enjoy. These are hemp hearts and definitely optional, but we'll add that little bit of a crunchy, salty earthiness to it. It's gonna be really nice. And since we're in the spirit of being creative, why not? Nonstick pan. Medium heat. Two tablespoons, chili oil. Saute the onions and garlic for a couple of minutes. Saute the carrots and broccolini for another couple of minutes. Mushroom. Two cups riced cauliflower. Hemp hearts. Sauce. Saute for three to four minutes. Add in the basil, turn off the heat and give it a good stir. Plate. Top with sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy this delicious cauliflower rice with absolute confidence. It's simple, rustic dishes like this that gets me really excited about cooking food. Amazing. Just one bite and that is just full of flavor. That texture from the cauliflower, the rice cauliflower is just so satisfying. Has that al dente bite and it absorbs all of that delicious sauce. And the veggies really complement that delicious texture from the cauliflower. You get that crunchiness from the carrots and the broccolini. You have the umami from the mushrooms that also absorb all of that delicious sauce as well. You get that little punch of flavor from the garlic and the onions. And the hemp hearts adds that little bit of a salty earthiness to this dish. That sauce adds a delicious kind of salty, deep, dark, rich flavor. It has that amazing aromatic flavor and that fresh aromatic flavor that contrasts with the earthiness of this entire dish. The chili oil adds a little bit of that spicy but smoky aromatic flavor to the cauliflower rice. Really simple to put together, incredibly delicious, and of course, if you take the time to rice that cauliflower and just keep it in the fridge, you will have this on hand and you can literally put this together in a matter of minutes. I can definitely sit down with a big plate of this and be a very happy camper. It's just so easy. And if you love delicious and easy recipes like I do, definitely check out that Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook With Confidence Cookbook. This has most of the favorite recipes from the show here on YouTube. And of course, to get your signed copy or to take a sneak peek inside the book, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.